Welcome back in. It's another edition of Five in Five. We're going to start the clock momentarily. A three and two night last night. Eh, we'd like to do better. We will do better. We are going to do better tonight. Remember, we do this six days a week. We take Sunday off. Saturday, all three-point props. So we have fun on the weekend because we know you have a lot of things happening in and around sports. If you haven't already, please hit the thumbs up button. It should be the first thing you do is a part of the Odd Chopper community. Wait, you're not part of the Odd Chopper community. Don't worry. You can hit the subscribe button. I have free money for you, essentially free money for you at DraftKings. I'll tell you about that. We lit up that Thursday night football game. Tell you about that on the Discord. But we begin the first play in the first minute right now. All right, let's head on over to DraftKings. That's where we're doing our work here and begin with, I love these head-to-heads. And if you can find some value on these head-to-heads, you might as well jump in on them. And the scoring prop, look, SGA, Shy Gilgis Alexander is on an absolute freaking tear right now. But if you look at the absence of Desmond Bain, you look at where the scoring drought or absence, if you will, void needs to be filled, it's clearly going to fall on the shoulders and shooting hand of one John Morant. If you like Memphis to win, but not win comfortably, I think it also adds to Morant over SGA here as far as just the head to head. Again, we're taking advantage of value plus 105. It's not often that a guy who is isn't as talented, arguably, right, as John Morant is, is going to have minus 140 compared to him. So we'll jump on the early value. I know Gilgis Alexander's on this freaking tear, but make no mistake, we want a chunk of that. All right, 105 at least. Different if that's minus money. It's plus 105. Under 219 and a half is the next play for the Wizards Heat game. This is an interesting dynamic here. You've got the Miami Heat and Washington Wizards teams who are shooting a bunch of threes. And they're actually a little bit over water from what they're normally doing. We've seen the Wizards red hot three last four games or so. What's changed is both teams, notably Miami, have significantly increased their ability to defend the three. In fact, if you wanted to target some unders tonight from a three-point range, it should be all over the Washington Wizards side. I like this game because both teams have been comfortable shooting threes, especially as of recent, yet Washington, and to a greater extent, Miami, I don't want to minimize what Washington has done. It's just Miami is like bottom of the league defending the three overall. Last three, four games, they've jettisoned right up to the top. So, they have become what we expect, and that's exactly why I want to get in here on under 219 and a half. All right, this is dropping. It was earlier at 105, indicates to me that Drew Holiday stands a pretty good chance of playing. That's exactly why I want the Milwaukee Bucks. No James Harden, that's a problem. Look, Joel Embiid can't be Wilt Chamberlain every single game, so there's going to be some letdown here. The Sixers without Joel Embiid are a disaster. By the way, that total just dipped a half a point. So there you can uh, take it for what it's worth. But I think looking at this from the Bucs just winning the game, you've got injuries. They're used to those injuries. But look at how this team has morphed with Giannis so much focus on him. Guys like Brooke Lopez knocking down threes left and right. This is a problem for a Sixers team that struggles against the perimeter and will have to rely exponentially on Joel Embiid to do what he did Monday again. And just because he had four days off doesn't mean jack shit to me. All right, the Denver Nuggets team. I mean, I don't understand what's going on here. It seems like everybody's out either injury or COVID. And we're not going to get... Jokic, we're not going to get Murray. It doesn't look like we're going to get Aaron Gordon. The Dallas Mavericks are not just going to let the Denver Nuggets minus their top three players. We love ourselves some bones. Don't get me wrong, but he ain't dropping a buck 10 on Dallas's head tonight, especially in Dallas. Denver hosting this game. It's a different story. We'd look at maybe the T the game total going under, but in this case, I mean, you have to just play off of you like Dallas. It's a giant spread based off the fact that everybody's out. I think the easier thing to do is just target the fact that Denver will struggle scoring tonight. That's the biggest thing, struggling with the basketball. All right, last play in our fifth minute, and we're going to go 
stay out in the West Coast here. Knicks just took advantage, by the way, of that Denver team minus everybody. So on the surface, you thought, wow, maybe this is going to be a, a new leaf or leaf, leave, turned over, leaf, turned over. But you turn over a new leaf, but there's something that you leave there, right? So that's what your turnover was. I'm not talking about apples either. Under 233 and a half for the Warriors Knicks game. Knicks get a healthy dose of reality because the Warriors come off a loss. And I think you look at just the Knicks, some false sense of hope, this inflated sense of, hey, man, we got something going here because you just knock off the Warriors in Denver and it made that tough trip from Utah to Denver. Yeah, okay, the Jazz in a little bit of a skid right now. The Denver Nuggets were without everybody. I am comfortable taking the Golden State Warriors to really just suffocate. Now, the big problem is, will the Warriors score a ton? I don't see that either. I think this is a 115 to 99 type game here where Golden State 120 to 99, where Golden State wins comfortably, but the Knicks are never really a threat to score a lot of points. All right, there's your five and five. We'll run them back for you. Don't worry. Don't worry at all. But I do want to show you at least how you can turn $5 into $200. So West Virginia right now is a minus 1,400 favorite. By the way, Bucks back up to plus 110 right now. So things are moving. Things are moving. Maybe Drew isn't playing. I'm trying to get ahead of that Drew Holiday play, by the way. That was the main line of reasoning with taking the Bucks tonight on the money line is if Drew Holiday plays, that's a dunk for me. And I don't care if he comes back and plays 22 minutes. That's 22 minutes in which the Bucs are just significantly better in the backcourt than the Philadelphia 76ers, and I definitely want a piece of that. By the way, West Virginia is minus 1,400 tonight in college basketball against my Penn Quakers. I didn't go to Penn. I just live in Philadelphia. That's why they're my Penn Quakers. I don't want people thinking like, damn, what the hell is this dude wasting his life with a Penn degree? Trust me, I'm wasting my life with a Gettysburg College degree. Much different. $5 normally wins you 35 cents. Not wasting my life here. I'm just, you know, elsewhere. Well, actually, no, I have a kid now, so I'm not wasting my life anymore. Four years ago, maybe. West Virginia minus 1,400 on DraftKings is a 35-cent payout. So what do you do? You look around. You try and find better value, right? Why? If you're brand new to DraftKings, just click that link below. The sign-up process is going to take you two minutes most, probably 90 seconds. And from there, just deposit $5. Only $5. That's all you need, $5. Did you hear me? That's all you need is $5. You don't need $1,000. Oh, you have 1500 risk-free or whatever these other books, $5. Immediately put that $5 on West Virginia like I did. Don't worry about what it says. Pay out here because it's going to be $200 right back into your account. Your very first play has to be a money line, and it has to hit. That's why we give you these ridiculous odds at minus 1,400. Wait, wait, wait. That's not enough for you. Okay, you want Duke beating Delaware? Fine, I'll give you that. Duke beating Delaware, minus 3,500. I'll upgrade it for you there. That's a 14-cent payout. In this case, it's going to give you a first-time user after you harmlessly put in your information and deposited, what, $5, a $200 payout right back into your account. Come on. Come on. All right, here are the five and five. Let's see what moves, how it's moved, and what's bounced around. John Morant in a head-to-head -head over Shea Gilgis. So Ja versus SGA, we're going with the former, the prior, the Ja, the man there on Memphis. Under 219 total for the Heat and Wizards. Seems pretty standard, especially since this has dropped a half a point and we're on both teams playing significantly better defense from perimeter offenses, really from the, from the three, more so than anything. Bucks money line, plus 110. Under 103 and a half. Nuggets team total, and then under 233 and a half, Warriors, Knicks in the game. That's your five and five. Have at it. Have fun. Let's make some noise. You want to be a part of the Discord? I don't blame you. All right. I'll tell you this real quick on your way out. First week is free. ES Insider, first week is free. We just did this. Look. This is 11 13 22. That's five days ago from watching today, four days prior to Thursday night football. Now we'll see what happens with the Vikings, et cetera. But I mean, we're just showing you this. We're getting in early. That, that's what I do. We have a lot of other stuff that we're doing. Ivy League football, 
you know, we're trying our best here, bouncing around with the NBA, college hoops. We're dabbling a little smaller stuff. You know, I'll let Kajeski and Raza handle the big stuff. I have time to dive into some smaller stuff. Our college football underdogs are hitting. We have another juicy one this week, talking to Raza about that. So your first week is free. ES Insider, we're doing a lot here. Whoopsie, now everything just got reset, so I have to show you these money lines now. Disregard, disregard. You know, we got the, some big ones here. So, should probably set that up next time. Thursday night football was nice. We hit that first half. We hit the spread. We're doing a lot here. First week is free. Click that link below. Join. There you're five and five on the way out. If you haven't subscribed to this page, come on. I mean, seriously. 